compartments and stuff so you can put your water bottle in here you can put all the you know different little snacks in there and whatnot so I am really lucky right now because I kind of have the my schedule permits for me to be able to cook from home but that being said in the fall coming up here in August I'm gonna be going back to school to college so my schedule is gonna get quite busy with work and school and everything like that so I'm gonna be gone for the majority of the hours of the day so that being said I wanted to start being very mindful um, of what I am intaking nutrition wise because one thing I've learned in my weight loss journey is that weight loss really comes down to it's probably like 90% nutrition if not more so I still got goals I still really am trying to lose like another 30 pounds so that being said I have been thinking a lot about what I could prepare for myself to bring with me throughout the day this is definitely gonna come in handy um, just just with making sure all of my food stays fresh and cool so as far as my diet goes right now I am eating primarily plant-based um, I haven't eaten meat in almost a year now however I do um, occasionally eat like dairy and stuff like that but what's really cool about this video is that I wanted to make it completely vegan so there are not any animal products whatsoever being used in these recipes so for all you vegans out there no I'm not a vegan but I wanted to cater this video to you each of the recipes in this video are going to I mean you can get them done in under 15 minutes um, and they're great to just put together and take with you for the day so like I said you know I've got a bit of lazy girl problems when it comes to putting food together for myself so these are definitely a solution to that problem like I said I am partnering with motivational bottle to do a giveaway for you guys um, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video to see how you can be entered to win one of these bad boys all right without further ado let's finally go ahead and get into recipe number one So this first recipe is gonna be kind of like a Mexican style quinoa bowl. So I've actually gone ahead and already prepped these ingredients simply because they are so, so, so basic, you guys. So the first thing I'm starting with is quinoa. I absolutely love quinoa because it is a complex carbohydrate and it's also a complete protein, which is obviously a plant protein. So this is great because it you can get the essential amino acids that meat eaters would get from meat um, without obviously having to eat meat. So this is awesome for for vegans and vegetarians who are not eating meat and getting those essential amino acids. As far as preparing this goes, what I like to do is just take a cup of dry quinoa and then mix that with two cups of water. You can also use um, broth, like vegetable broth or anything like that, or if you um, are not vegan, you could do chicken broth, something of that sort. And that just adds a little bit more flavor. So this is super easy to make. All you do is put that on the stove top, bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer for like 15 minutes until all the water is absorbed. And then you can set it aside and just have it ready to go. I use quinoa a lot, so I like to prep a lot of it at the beginning of the week just to use for all my dis different recipes. Now, of course, I'm not going to be using the complete quantity of all of these ingredients. I just went ahead and prepped a lot of them because, like I said, I do use all of them in multiple recipes. All right, so for our next ingredient, we've got our beans. So these are organic black beans and dark red kidney beans. Now with the beans, you don't even have to cook them on a stove top or anything because all of these meals are gonna be reheated. What I did go ahead and do, however, was rinse them and strain them just so that that um, kind of like gooey liquid that forms in the can um, isn't included in there just because it'll help with preserving the meal so that they don't get all soggy and whatnot. So here's our beans ready to go. Now the next ingredient is organic corn. I always like to make sure that I do buy organic corn simply because normal corn is genetic 
genetically modified, which is just definitely not good for you at all. Um, I don't use too much of the corn, but I do really like the flavor that it adds. So I actually buy just frozen organic corn. And again, for this video, you don't have to even heat it up. I went ahead and did it for mine just so that there's less water to, again, contribute to that soggy situation that some meal prep can often lead to. Um, but you could even just literally pour it in from the bag of frozen corn into the container. The last ingredient that I am just gonna kind of sprinkle on top are these organic hemp hearts. Um, I love doing these just because they're perfect for an extra bit of protein. So um, a serving size is three tablespoons and that's 170 calories. However, it's also 10 grams of protein. So I like to sprinkle this on anything. It doesn't taste like much. If anything, maybe a little bit of like a nutty flavor, but love sprinkling these for extra protein. Again, especially if you're not eating meat. So those are all our ingredients. We've got prepped and ready to go. So let's go ahead and put it into the container and I'll show you how I serve it. All right, so for the quinoa, I actually went ahead and did a full cup here, but when I had it, it would seem like a little bit too much. So I recommend doing just a half a cup of quinoa and we pour that in our little container. And then now for our bean mixture, I went ahead and I'm taking a full cup of that, so just half and half, um, and we're gonna go ahead and add that bad boy. Now, like I said before, I don't do too much corn. I think I went ahead and did like a third cup here. Um, so I just go ahead and add that into the next little corner. And oh my gosh, you guys, this salsa is amazing. It's the Emerald Valley Hot Salsa. I get it at Whole Foods and it's seriously so good. You can see I'm going in with it on this stuff. So much flavor, so freaking bomb. Right here, I'm just adding in some hemp seeds. I talked about them earlier, but this is gonna be three tablespoons of those. So one, two, three, we good. For the little side container, I'm going ahead and just cutting up an apple and added it there. Fun fact, if you squeeze lemon over your apples, it'll preserve them and keep them from turning brown. Learned that in hot lunch in middle school, not gonna lie. Went ahead and mixed it up here. You can wait until you serve, but I like to do it now to spread the flavor. Number one, done. Alrighty, recipe number two is a tofu scramble. I freaking love this, you guys. Um, right here, I'm just panning over all of our seasoning ingredients. I am going ahead and starting with some nutritional yeast. I actually went ahead and did one teaspoon of that. Then we've got our turmeric, that's a quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. Quarter teaspoon of paprika. And I'm doing one tablespoon water sprinkling a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on there. Oh, wait, wait for the water. Wait for it, wait for it. Come on, Morgan. There we go. We're gonna mix that up. This is gonna add a little bit of color and flavor to the tofu here in a bit. So I mix that up and set it aside. Now I'm starting with my veggies. I went ahead and picked some onion, mushrooms, and three different colors of bell peppers. These are my favorite veggies to use in the scramble. I'm going ahead and starting with some um, coconut oil spray. This is my favorite one for cooking. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and saute these veggies a bit, get them warm, get them brown before we add in our tofu. This is like my favorite part. I freaking love these veggies. tofu that I'm using is just organic tofu. Um, obviously y'all know it is made from soybeans. I get the extra firm one. I buy mine at Whole Foods and this is just about like a quarter of that container. I'm not sure exactly how many ounces, but you want to go ahead and just crumble that up. It's super, super easy. Just add that to the scramble and then we're going to go ahead and let that get warm and get a little browned as well. Also, can't forget about our seasoning. I went ahead and scooped all of that in there. Obviously, season two tastes just however you like it. You can add stuff, take it away. I like the flavor of the veggies in there. I feel like this was a pretty good amount. So you just wanna go ahead, add that in, mix it in with everything else. Like I said, it'll give it a little color. It looks like sort of like a egg scramble. So that's kinda cool. Side dish here, I'm using the Cascadian Farms Organic 
buy roasted sweet potatoes. Of course, you could um, buy them whole and cut them up yourself, but this saves a little bit of time. I bought mine at Whole Foods. Just went ahead, put them on the stove top, let them get warmed up, and you could add a little bit of like pink sea salt if you'd like, but I like mine just plain. Everything's got quite a bit of flavor here. So adding those to the container, scooping in our tofu mixture. So, so, so good, you guys. I did go ahead also to, for a little bit of added protein. I wanted to go ahead and add some more of our bean mixture. So I'm just taking, I think I did like a half cup, maybe even just a third cup there. Scoop that on top, mix it all up, and that is recipe number two complete. For our third and final recipe, I'm actually starting with the side dish here. This is probably my favorite vegetable um, side to make ever. I'm just doing some string beans, some minced garlic, and some sliced almonds, little almond slivers. I get all of my ingredients, pretty much all of my grocery shopping actually is from Whole Foods or Sprouts. So I'm going ahead, I started with the um, coconut oil spray, poured my almonds in there as well as the minced garlic. And what I'm gonna do here is just kind of saute those. <laughs> I really like the garlic there as you can see. Um, but I let that get a little toasty, get brown, and we're gonna get ready to add in our green beans. The ones I'm using, I actually purchased at Costco. Um, obviously, you could buy them fresh, but you know, lazy girl problems. Buying them frozen is just much easier and they last longer. So yeah, go ahead and let these cook up. I added a little bit of crushed red pepper. Again, you can add whatever seasonings you'd like. Seriously, you guys, so freaking good. I also am using the organic Sunshine Burgers. This is the Loco Chipotle flavor. Um, these are vegan as well as soy free, so I love this for a protein substitute. Um, just the flavor in this, you guys, is so, so, so good. You don't even have to like really heat this up because you will be reheating when you actually eat it since we're meal prepping here. But I went ahead and just did that because like I said, I'm only making one, um, one of each recipe so I actually went ahead and ate this later that day so I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the container as well as the green bean mixture here Now, the real star of the show here is this chipotle flavored bitchin' sauce. You guys, seriously, this stuff is so good. It's kind of like a hummus texture, but this is my favorite one. I haven't tried all of them yet, but this is the chipotle flavor and I am obsessed. A little chipotle overboard here, but there's never too much in my opinion. Anyways, that is recipe number three, all complete. D freaking lish I did also want to add into this video one of my favorite low sugar snacks um, that's really good when you have like a sweet treat craving. This is the organic nutso butter. I love this stuff, you guys. They um, sometimes have it at Costco. That's where I usually get mine or Whole Foods I know carries it. Um, but I do two like heaping <laughs> tablespoons of this stuff. It's no added sugars or anything like that. Super good for you. Obviously, it's got the healthy essential fats from the nuts. Um, but I also go ahead and do the green apples. I prefer these ones just because they are less sugar, um, but they're super delish. Got lots of good micronutrients in there for you. Again, like I said, really great to satisfy that sweet treat craving. All right, you guys, so those are the three recipes for this video. I do have a bunch more that I could think of. So if you want to see more of what I have up my sleeve, let me know in the comments if this is a video that you like. Now, of course, today I wasn't meal prepping for the whole week, so I only made one of each meal, but definitely if I was gonna go ahead and do it ahead of time, I would make multiple. But I hope that you guys can sort of pick and choose um, just all the different foods and stuff and put your own something together. It, obviously, everything can be modified. You can you know, add or take away different spices and seasonings or toppings and things like that. I definitely think that meal prepping is such an amazing tool to use if you're on a weight loss journey or even just if you're trying to be mindful of your nutrition. Um, I think that it's so important just for overall health and wellness in general to be intentional with the things that you're intaking and that you're putting into your body. All right, now for the fun part, the giveaway, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. If you would like to be entered to win one of the motivational bottle carrying cases as well as the ice pack, 
All you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel if you're not already, and then go ahead and follow Motivational Bottle on Instagram. Once you've done both of those things, just leave a comment in the comments below saying done or saying hi. It really doesn't matter what you say, but just say something. I'm also gonna be having another giveaway over on Instagram, so if you wanna double your chances at winning a little meal prep bag, then go ahead and check out that, and you can enter over there as well. So let me know if you try out any of these recipes and how you guys like this video. I hope it was a little bit informative. I know that I'm not super professional when it comes to all this stuff, but this is real life. This is lazy girl meal prep. So hope you found this useful and I will see you in my next